can roller coaster restraints come open mid-ride? Well, the short answer is actually yes, they can. But the long answer is, well, let's get into it. Before I explain how restraints work and how and when they can be released, you need to understand the two basic types of restraint mechanisms, ratcheting and hydraulic. Ratcheting restraints are very common, especially on older coasters, and they work using a spring-loaded ratchet. These restraints can be identified when riding by the clicking noise they make when you pull them down. And unlike hydraulic restraints, there are a limited number of positions they can lock into, meaning that for most riders, there's a slight amount of play in their restraint when locked. On the other hand, hydraulic restraints have become very popular in the last 20 years or so, and they work very differently to ratcheting restraints. Hydraulic restraints use hydraulic cylinders to hold the restraint device in place. These hydraulic cylinders are the same type that are used on aircraft to extend spoilers. Needless to say, one is very strong, but most roller coasters use two per restraint. These types of restraints can be recognized by how they lock. They can lock in any spot, meaning that hydraulic restraints will have a much more snug fit on most riders compared to ratcheting ones. Hydraulic restraints also provide some resistance when being pulled down. Before we dive any deeper, I want to stress that there's no button on the control panel of any ride that can release the restraints anywhere outside of the station. The way restraints are released outside of the station is done on the train itself, meaning that a train must be stopped to perform them and restraints are really only released in the ways I'm about to describe during ride evacuations. Let's start with ratcheting restraints. These can be unlocked at any point during the ride, in most cases with the use of a pedal at the front or back of each car. In other cases, there's a specific place on each car where physical pressure must be applied to unlock that car's restraints. With the exception of first-generation aero trains, there's a spring keeping restraints locked, meaning that a constant pressure must be applied to keep the restraints unlocked. If that pressure against the manual release is lost, it will spring back into the locked position, meaning it's locked by default. Now, of course, a mechanical issue with the restraint itself can occur, but this is extremely rare, and many rides feature a seatbelt as a failsafe in case of this. Hydraulic restraints are a little bit more complex. When a train with hydraulic restraints pulls into the station, an electrical contact is made between the train and the station that will release the restraints once the train stops. If a ride operator needs to manually release the restraints in the station and the ride still has power, they can use a button somewhere on the train itself to do so. Outside of the station, this will not work as there's no electrical contacts on the track itself. In this case, a ride operator can use a battery pack attached to a specific part of the train to temporarily unlock the restraints. If this does not work, maintenance personnel can manually depressurize the hydraulic cylinders using an Allen key. Often associated with the fear of restraints opening mid-ride is the fear of the ride being dispatched from the station with restraints unlocked. On a lot of newer roller coasters, there are seat sensors, which are essentially proximity sensors that sense if a restraint is down and communicate with the ride's control system so that all restraints must be locked before the train is able to dispatch. However, a lot of older roller coasters do not have this system. Luckily, as we discussed earlier, most restraints are locked by default, and at every park in the U.S., restraints on each ride every cycle must be checked before the train is allowed to leave the station. Parks take this very seriously, as they should. I hope you now have a better understanding of when restraints can come unlocked. If you'd like to learn more about the specific types of coaster restraints, I urge you to watch a CoasterBot video linked in the description. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below or join our Discord server. Thanks for watching!